Some big changes are coming to Valorant's rank system today, and they might just help some of you climb out of the lower ranks. We also have some dope new skins, but there's one thing missing. Where are the chamber nerfs? Before we get into the video, I just want to remind you guys to check out our Twitch channel where Liz has been hosting her NA VCT watch parties. On Friday and Saturday, we'll find out which two teams will be representing North America and Copenhagen, so it's pretty hype. Alright, so last week we showed you all the new map, Pearl, and after playing it all weekend, I can honestly say that it's pretty fun, but there's a lot more to today's update than just a new map. I hope you all managed to achieve your rank goals last act, because there are some big changes coming this episode. Most importantly, we have a new rank, Ascendant. Now the Ascendant rank sits between Diamond 3 and Immortal 1, and it has this cool new green icon. So I'm sure many of you see this and you say, oh no, I'm already low elo and now I have even more ranks to try and climb. But this might not be as bad as you think. Riot says, quote, We believe our lower ranks have a few too many of you, especially bronze and silver. When we were looking at rank distribution, we realized that if we were to move some of you up and out of those lower ranks, it would overpopulate Platinum and Diamond. So by adding a new rank, we can better distribute you across ranks, keep the prestige of high ranks, while helping better define the skill level of each rank." End quote. Those of you who felt like you were stuck in low elo should have a better time climbing to gold and even platinum. For some of you, plat won't feel quite as special now, but maybe now's your time to squeak into diamond. I think this is a great change. As someone who finished the act in low diamond, but definitely played with and against a lot of boosted immortals, I'm happy to know that they're gonna have a much harder time trying to get back to that rank. In fact, this change should benefit just about everyone except for those who struggled to hit and maintain Immortal 1. Bruh. With the new rank, the highest you can possibly place is Ascendant 1 instead of Diamond 1, so high elo players will likely start their grind there. They will also need to hit higher MMR targets in order to hit Immortal and eventually Radiant. Here's what Tarek had to say about the rank changes. They're ascending into Radiant, yeah. I think it's cool, I think it's cool. Uh, I think it's good. I think it's good. It's going to make it harder to get into Immortal, which, which means it's going to be harder to play with me. But the new map and the new rank aren't the only things coming with this update. We also have something that I love talking about. Skins. The Prelude to Chaos bundle is easily one of the coolest skin sets we've seen for a while. Just look at these things. They sound f***ing incredible and the finisher is badass. If you've tried out the Blade of the Rune King melee, then you'll recognize the animations because they're the exact same, but the visual effects are pretty wild. Yeah. I'm definitely buying that. The new Battle Pass is also pretty cool. For $10, the Shimmer, Spitfire, and Task Force skins are all solid options, and as per usual, I love the new player cards. Skins, rank changes, and new maps are dope, but there's one big omission. For whatever reason, they still haven't nerfed Chamber. Players have continued to beg Riot to nerf him almost daily, but there's nothing in the patch notes that says we should expect to see changes anytime soon. Now this makes no f***ing sense to me whatsoever. And as someone who abused Chamber to rank up last act, even I can admit that the dude is busted. After removing one of his trips, he's basically still a killing machine, and Riot isn't doing anything about it. Even someone like myself, who's mediocre at the game, can just pick Chamber whenever they want to win games. I know that Riot probably had a lot on their hands, considering we're getting a new map and some rank changes, but I would have loved to see any sort of update on Chamber. He's basically ruined the game since he was released. Now maybe they just didn't want to shake up the meta with Copenhagen right around the corner, but Chamber continues to dominate pro play each and every week too. Assuming we're back to the normal patch schedule, then hopefully we see Chamber nerfs in two weeks. A Phoenix rework would be nice too, but don't think I'll get my hopes up on that one just yet. Uh, the amount of immortal ones I got, he just like, like I, I can tell you the difference between an immortal one and a gold one. I had this immortal one Yoru go like two and 15 in one of my games and I'm like, bruh, <laughs> come on, man. Dude, these immortals suck ass. <laughs> uh.